If you don't have a big, crazy set of seemingly impossible goals in your life, then how do you choose what to do next? I could picture what a doctor did, what a lawyer did, what an engineer did, but I couldn't imagine what it was like to be in space. I find it bizarre anyone that is not motivated by space. In order to make a space economy work, to make people living on the moon and Mars work, it requires everyone. It's not just engineers, it's not just scientists. It requires economists, it requires artists, it requires governance people, it, it requires everybody coming together. What's really interesting about space and business is I don't see them as two separate entities. And if you look at all the technological developments, the inspirational drive, of businesses taking technologies, taking ideas, and like turning that into something else on the earth, there has always been a huge element of business with space. Imagine if we could drop the price of access to space down to uh, $1 to get to space. There would be entrepreneurs all around the world thinking, wow, if I can get my thing up to space for a buck, then then that opens up all sorts of new business opportunities. Space has always been a business. Uh, the beauty of it now as it evolves is that it becomes much more widespread and the number of people that can be involved in that business is increasing every day. And startups, because of that low launch cost, can explore and, and try new things, whereas previously it was just such an inhibited uh, cost to do so. We have developed the lightest, thinnest, most compact micro meteorite and orbital debris shield. The commercial aspect is becoming increasingly more important. And I think that's giving a lot of different applications for what is being done, what people are interested in doing, how things are done as well. I have people come at me all the time with genius ideas. My, I, where did you get that from? And it's because they have that ecosystem that they can now play in. One of the greatest advantages of the technologies that we've developed is our ability to communicate and share ideas. And if we can find structures that optimize that, structures like higher educational institutions and ways to link those together, to me that's a really important and necessary societal construct right now. And the fact that we can be hosted at uh, Georgia Tech and in Paris and in Oxford and in Toronto to develop the space technologies, uh, to me is one really cool and important step in trying to accomplish what I think is necessary for all of us, collectively. Thank you so much to Georgia Tech for hosting this event. I've been very impressed by just the breadth and skill and, and, and intellect and, and creativity that I've seen in the short time that I've been here. So that has been a delight, so thank you very much.